In this video and those that follow, you'll see me obsess over good housekeeping for these three good reasons. Please make a point of watching the pin and favorite video before you watch this one. Entirely dedicated to the import, photo, and actions add menu selections, one main takeaway from this video is to understand the key difference between inserting files and photos and importing files and photos. And note that these selections will direct you to your files folder and that these selections will direct you to your iCloud's photo library. If you recall, the zip folder we downloaded in the pin and favorite video was instantaneous as it was only two megabytes. By contrast, you can see that this one is taking a bit of time to fully download. When it's finally done baking, you can see that it's over 36 megabytes. After you extract what you need from these redundant files, they can really gobble up your storage space. So again, after the extraction, it's a good idea to do some quick housekeeping and trash these things before you forget about them. That said, I'm going to tap on the zip to extract. I'm just going to open it to make sure that it's finished baking to make sure everything's there. Everything looks good, so I'm going to go back. And again, before I forget, I'm going to long press on this. I'm going to delete, and then I'm going to go to recently deleted to finish the job. Long press, delete. Okay, housekeeping is done. I'm going back to the downloads. And I'm going to open that folder. And in this demo, I'm going to be working with the Eskimo Pie Illustration folder, so I'm going to open that. And then I'm going to change the view to list view so you can see the three different file types here. So I'm tapping the waffle grid icon up near the upper right hand corner to show list view. And you can see you've got a dot swatches file extension, a dot procreate file extension, and a dot brush set. And the reason I'm pointing out these three different file types is when we import them into Procreate, Procreate is going to grab them based on those file extensions and put them where they belong. And because these three files are specifically Procreate file types, they can be installed directly from this folder by tapping them. And as mentioned, Procreate is going to kick in and put them where they belong. I'm going to take on the Procreate file type first because that import is a little bit more obvious as far as what happened. So I'm tapping it. You're going to see Procreate kick in. And then it's going to open the file. So it's pretty much in your face. And when I select Gallery in the upper left hand corner, you can see that that Eskimo Pie has been imported into the gallery. So as I go back for the brush set and the swatches files, you're going to see that those are a little bit more stealth. So I'm swiping up, going back to my files. And when I tap the Eskimo Pie swatches, it kicks in and you can see that we're still here in the gallery. Now I'm going to go back and grab the brush set you're going to see that it imports and again we're still in the gallery. So it seems as though nothing happens, but it did. And to find out where the swatches and brush set files went, you have to open a canvas to get what I call the open canvas menu. So I'm going to the upper right hand corner to the colors menu item. And then down in the lower right hand corner, you can see the palettes icon. So getting into my palettes view, I have to do a little bit of scrolling to find that my Eskimo Pie made it down to the bottom of the stack. Now bear this in mind because the second means of importing is going to actually put it up here at the top of the stack. So just file that thought. So I'm going to get out of the color palettes and I'm going to select the brushes icon and you can see that our Eskimo Pie brush set made it right to the top of the pile. And so we imported the three Procreate file types directly from the folder. Now let's import those same three files through Procreate itself. So I'm going to come back to the gallery and take on that Eskimo first. So here's where I'm going to select the import selection in the upper right hand corner. 
and I'm going to navigate to my files. And here you can see in this view, because I'm coming at it through Procreate, you can see that Procreate regulates what file types can be placed where. So the brush set and the swatches are dimmed, and the only file type I can put into the gallery is the Procreate file type. So I'm going to select that, and the same thing's going to happen. It's going to import and open the file up. Like so. So now we have a few redundant files. You can see I have two Eskimo Pies in the upper left, and then I also, from earlier on, I already have them in here, so I've got some housekeeping to do there first, but let's finish our imports. And so again, to import our brushes and swatches, you have to, again, get to the canvas menu, so I've got to open an image. And then we'll take on the swatches first. I'm going to select the swatches icon. I'm going to tap on the plus icon and then choose the new from file selection. And getting back into our download folder, you can see now that the swatches file type is the only file type that's available. So I'm going to tap that. And as mentioned, this time it imported to the top of the stack. And if you recall, when we went to the folder, it came down to the bottom of the stack. So while I'm in here, I don't want redundant files. So I'm going to swipe to the left and press the delete button. While still in color palettes, I'm going to get off topic for a second as there are cool features in here that are really worth pointing out. Tapping the plus symbol, you're able to capture a new color palette by using your iPad camera or by using an existing image. They're pretty fun and intuitive, so give them a try. And if you get carried away, remember that you can always swipe left to clear away the clutter. And getting back on topic, importing files from within Procreate is pretty straightforward. Importing color swatches from within Procreate is rather nested, and importing brushes from within Procreate is an even more nested chain of commands, which we're going to take on next. To demonstrate just how nested the chain of commands are for importing brushes from within Procreate, I'm starting at square one in the gallery. And from the gallery, I would again have to open a canvas to access the open canvas menu, as I call it. Choose the brush selection, choose the plus symbol, and then in the Brush Studio, you would choose the Import Selection, navigate to the folder, which were already there. And again, the only file type that I can select in this folder is the Brush Set, which I'm going to choose. And again, you can see at the top of my pile, I have two Eskimo pie brushes. And again, I'm all for housekeeping to eliminate confusion. And looking down below, you can see that I already have that a third time. So these top two, I'm just going to delete by tapping and pressing delete. And again, tapping and pressing delete. So again, I still have the Eskimo pie down here, safe and sound. So far, we've imported Procreate formatted files, but other file types can also be imported as we're about to do in a mini lab exercise. But first, I'm going to delete these redundant Eskimo Pi files, as they already have the originals down here. In the first guided tour video, you may recall that gallery files are deleted by choosing the select menu. And as I tap that, our little plus symbol is going to rotate into an X, a blue bar is going to slide across, and we're going to have a gray submenu, like so. So from here, I'm going to tap on my two Eskimo pies. This untitled piece is redundant as well, so I might as well take care of all of this at once. And then I'm going to choose the delete selection. Confirm that I want to delete. And then I'm going to press that X and it's going to rotate back into plus and we'll be back in the gallery. And while I'm doing my housekeeping, I have a few more little maintenance issues in here. Uh, number one, my Miami Dolphins logo needs to be named. So I just tap that and you'll be seeing this later on. And you can see here that I have this bull, there's a stack, and then there's a scraggling image. So I'm going to press and drag that, add that to the stacks and see what's going on here. And it looks like that is a extra file. So 
rather than have added confusion, I'm going to select, choose that and delete. Don't need it because I already have it there. And the names of these remaining files differentiate the original pastel drawing, the resized print version, and then the downsampled online version. And you'll be able to read up on all of that in this PDF. And then coming back, let's check out the Eskimo Pi files. And again, two identically named files. Let's fix that. One's a more recent version than the other. So and again, I strongly recommend a little housekeeping to avoid a lot of pain and heartache. And so I'm ending this part one video on a very tidy note. I'll see you in part two.